Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back with another YouTube video. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing, let's talk a, a little bit about the Thor Love and Thunder teaser trailer that just recently came out. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so recently, recently, uh, Thor Love and Thunder just got its first teaser trailer. Uh, the movie is coming out within a few months actually. Uh, it's in about four-ish months. So, yeah, it's it's fast approaching. And we finally got our first trailer, as well as a poster. So, yeah, we, we've recently gotten, uh, like, toys and stuff. So, we've seen certain costumes and everything. We've seen our first look. At, I, I'm not going to say our first look, but, I mean, we've seen what characters are going to be in the film. We've seen the villain. We've seen every, uh, most things. So, yeah, we've seen the toys and everything. Uh, but now we're seeing an actual teaser trailer. So, that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, anyways, um, continue on here. So, f just in terms of um, in terms of what we saw, we saw a, a number of different things. Now, one thing to mention as well is this importantly to note as well is the fact that this is a teaser, not a trailer. So I know some people might not know the difference. Uh, so essentially, a teaser is essentially teasing the trailer. So we'll probably get like a full maybe two three minute trailer soon hopefully, and this was just more so like a teaser for that. Like we're obviously gonna see clips from this teaser in that trailer, or all of the clips actually. So just it'll be expanded on. So just don't worry about that. Like don't worry about how short this trailer is or whatever, because it's not a trailer. It's technically a teaser trailer. So yeah. Uh, firstly, I'll, I'll talk a bit about the teaser trailer, and then I'll get into like posters and my thoughts so uh quickly uh teaser trailer so um in this in this trailer we saw a lot of thor essentially he looks to be retiring kind of thing uh as we see like thor's trying to looks like he's trying to retire uh we see that happen uh we see him as he's now with like the guardians or at least star lord so we see that happen uh we don't really see too much in terms of plot points. Uh, really, we just see essentially Thor essentially retiring. And then we see like Star-Lord. As well as we get our first look at Mighty Thor or Thor Jane, Jane Foster. Um, so yeah, plus we get some music, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, which is interesting uh, to know as well. Uh, so yeah, let's, in, in terms of like what we saw, uh, there there's no real way of explaining it. Just more so gotta just recap it. So from what I've seen here, so first of all we see looks like Thor is essentially on some I don't know if he's on a different planet or some other place on Earth, as he's essentially in this place kind of like retired, as he's getting more and shit he he's now in like much like now he's a lot bigger, uh in terms of uh like muscle mass and stuff. You can see he's still using operating with Stormbreaker. Uh you also see he's rolling with the the guardians, which is interesting as well. To kind of see, and then yeah, we see he's getting a new costume as well. I'm kind of glimpsing through the trailer as it plays here and talking a bit about it, just in case somebody was wondering. Ah, uh, yeah, we see a little bit of Star Lord. Yeah, and then we get our final look at Mighty Thor. So. What I get from this trailer, uh, looks like Thor is somewhat of in, in retirement position. My guess is Gore is going to come and essentially break him out of retirement. Uh, we could also see again, like, Zeus is in it as well. I think that's Zeus, uh, one of the, the gods he's in it. So, um, yeah, look, it looks to me maybe perhaps, like, uh, Gore kills somebody or something. And then Thor kind of comes out of retirement and is like, enough is enough. I need to fight this guy. And then uh, he he mu must aid maybe Jane Foster or something. We also saw like Valkyrie. I'm not really sure what's going on with her as well. Because we know at the end of Endgame, I, I believe he uh, he gave, I don't know what you call it, like kingship or something to Valkyrie. Or leadership, leadership uh, of the Asgardian people over to Valkyrie instead. So he kind of like relinquished it. Which fits with this ongoing theme. Now, I, I'm as I'm watching this teaser, I realize why I think it's called Thor: Love and Thunder. 
it's because you could even see in the trailer he's like he essentially is like peace and peace and love essentially um so that probably is what's tying into the love part of it and then thunder of course being that thor is the god of thunder so uh yeah there's that as well um no, Guardian, the Guardian's role, I'm not really sure in, in this. I guess Star-Lord is going to essentially aid in, aid Thor. I don't know if all the Guardians will be in this, though. Uh, from the trailer, I mean, you could see everybody else. Like, you could see uh, Drax and Mantis and all of them. So that's interesting to note. But, I mean, you, you really see Star-Lord talking and stuff. So, I mean, I think, like, the two of them are going to become, like, good friends and stuff which is really cool now i'm not really sure exactly when this is supposed to be taking place like if this is supposed to take place after guardians 3 or before guardians 3 i'm gonna t just take a guess and say before guardians 3 just because it looks like the whole team is mostly there as well as um this is coming out way before guardians 3 as this is supposed to come out july 8th which is fast approaching um so, yeah, there's that. And then we got a first look at Mighty Thor, which, or Jane Foster, which is really cool. I think she looks really cool. Uh, I like the costume design. I also like the way Milner looks now. It looks pretty cool. With that cracked up design, that looks really cool. Uh, now, in terms of poster-wise, uh, it only really originally says the one and only, as well as Thor in some sort of different kind of attire with Stormbreaker so I'm not really sure what this is supposed to mean so I'm really interested to see kind of I'm really interested to see kind of what's going on with this movie and everything um yeah in terms of trailer wise like a full moon trailer my personal guess okay so this movie's coming out July 8th Remember, I'm not like anybody who who's taking deep dives into this. But if I were just to provide a, a guess into when, like a full length trailer would come out, my guess would be probably May, uh, end of May. My guess, because uh, again, uh, Thor: Love and Thunder is coming out in about what is it? We have April, the rest of April, so half of April. I, I'd say 0.5 of a month, so half a month plus May and June, which is two and a half months and then it, it, it uh releases at the start of july so yeah we don't have so so long like there there's definitely gonna be some stuff that comes out eventually uh honestly i can't wait for this movie it's one of my most anticipated mc movies of this year and of phase four essentially but um yeah anyways that that's pretty much it though uh thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace